What's up, 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 y'all? What's going on? How y'all doing? Man, it's a new month, it's a new day, new goals, new money. You know, that's why I got the Dipset Anthem playing. Today's a new day, okay? But hey, I'm excited for September, man. I'm excited for a lot of people that's going to be getting going and getting started with us and everything. Man, you got money team, and we are here to stay, basically. Uh, it's inspired by those little alerts that you get uh, from Nove that pop up in your email that say you got money from Nove. It's a great feeling. If you never had residual income, being able to pay your residual bills with residual income, man, then it is something that you have got to experience. What's going on, my man Devin, another entrepreneur that's you know helping people connect. He's got the mind of a wizard. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm definitely going to be linking up with him and doing some uh, seminars and things like that for entrepreneurs in the, in the very, very soon. But, hey, man, you got to have goals without a, a goal and you just have a dream and you just have a wish, okay? You got to do more than just pray. You got to put that faith into action, all right? Faith without works is dead, they say. So without a strategy, without a platform, without something that you can actually implement, you will be the smartest, most motivated individual and, and have the motivation that you need, but without a platform to actually get in there and make something happen, man, you're just wasting your time, man. If you can't help out the next person to do exactly what you did, then you're just wasting your time, okay? Again, we do not want to end up on that deathbed with ghosts of regret around us, right? And these ghosts of regret, that's basically, uh, you know, your dreams, your hopes, your, your, I should have did this, I was going to open up that, I was going to be my own this, I was going to be the leader of that. You know, that's your, the things that you're dreaming about and whatever God has put in your heart, it, that's a desire that basically lets you know that it's already yours and you have to basically claim it in advance and not wait until you get at the very end because guess what, you, you're out here chasing money, you're out here on that job chasing money, what happens is, you know, it comes to that last few uh, days and you're in hospice and I hate to be gothic with y'all, but look, <laughs> let's just be honest. We're adults, right? We ain't going to get out of life alive. Okay. But the thing is, is when you on that deathbed, you full of regrets of things that you have not accomplished. Okay. You're not going to want more money. You're going to want more time. You're going to want more time to spend with your loved ones. You're going to want more time to build your dreams and build your legacy. You're going to want more time to go on trips and see the world, okay? How many people have, have a certain destination on their bucket list? Devin, where would you go, for example? You know, if you could pack up, you probably already went to your destination spot. You can pack up tomorrow and go, you know, where would you, where would you go, okay? And it's to the point where, we live our whole lives just going to work. That's not our destination. That's not what's in our heart to do, right? So you gotta have it. The only way to actually get around that is to have a business, okay? A job is not the only way to earn income. I repeat, a job is not the only way to have income. Now, I posted um, a video of a boxer. He went into a Wendy's and he was like, yo, $10,000, anybody that wants to quit their job right now, you $10,000, you quit, you walk out right now, today. Devin says he wants to go to Nepal. I hear that, man. Take me with you, man. That's definitely on the bucket list, right? But nobody will walk out. Now, I don't know if they just thought he was playing, you know, or just was skeptical, but if somebody offered me $10,000 to walk out my Wendy's job, I'm doing it. But here's the kicker. A lot of people posted that they would take that $10,000 and walk and go and get another job. And I'm just like, man, don't you realize what that $10,000 can do for you? You can flip that over so many times, you know, not just let it even sit in the bank. But yeah, you can pay off some of your debt. Yeah, you can like, you know, prepay a place where you to live for six to eight months or however much your rent costs. But think about it. Like, you could take that money and start your own business. How many people want to be bakers? How many people want to, you know, be barbers? How many people want to drive trucks? How many people want to write apps and open up that computer franchise? How many people want their own law firm and things like that? And how many people just want to open up like cosmetology, their own hair school or, or even just a school, a daycare, anything like that? People have goals in their hearts, okay? And they can't get to it because of, there's a money there's, there's money in the way, okay? But I'm here to tell you, look, you got to be able to accelerate your income. 
in order to get to that money, okay? And what we got right here, you got money team, man. We got an awesome platform that's earned me over five figures since joining and being a part of this company. And then, and most of it is residual. Most of it means that I've done the work one time and I keep getting paid for it month after month after month, year after year after year, as long as I have customers, okay? It's not about trying to be a pyramid and trying to, you know, like recruit people and things like that. But think, listen, every business has a pyramid structure. So when you say pyramid scheme, you're basically thinking of a Ponzi scheme. And with a Ponzi scheme, that's basically where new people are paid with old people money, okay, to keep the thing going. They're promised interest, okay? I'm not promising you interest. I'm not saying give me $10,000 and I'm going to pay you $600 or $6,000 a month for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that. What we're saying here is start a business and go get you some customers so that you can have customers on your pipeline. Listen, look at your bills. Please look. Somebody look at your bills for the month. Write down every single business that is taking money out of your household. People have like 10 different businesses taking money out of your household. So if you think about liabilities and assets, you're an asset to that business. So you're on the green side for that business because they have your name and your checking account number on the green side of that piece of paper and they got money coming into that side every single month. You, on the other hand, have that company and that payment account and it's in the black because that's money going out or in the red because that's money going out. You're on the liability side, okay? So, so many people have so many liabilities, but they don't have any assets, okay? They don't have money coming in, but except for one, one place, and that's their job. So think about it. That company, Time Warner, Spectrum, your gas company, Duke Energy, you know, uh, Ford Motor Company, whoever you're paying for your car, you know, that local car lot that you got ripped off because you're paying 29% interest. It don't matter. You are an asset to them. And you should feel guilty and you should feel bad that you only have one asset. And these companies have thousands of assets. You should want yourself a company. You should want customers paying you for a good or a product or service that they are benefiting from. So we're not ripping people off. We're helping people with the exact thing that they need to get the American dream. The American dream, you want to get the house that you want in the neighborhood that you want, pulling up in the car that you want being able to travel when you, when you want, with the white picket fence when you come home. Everybody wants that. Everybody's told to go out and get a job, so you can go out and go to college so you can get a good job, so you can get a house, so you can get a car, so you can get the wife, so you can get the kids, so you can get the dog. That's what the American dream is, to live on your own terms, not where your money can afford. A lot of people are living in places right now that they don't want to live because that's, that's what they can afford. But guess what? One thing is stopping a lot of people, and that's three numbers. That's your FICO score. So what we do is we help you get a better credit score. And then we help you get some more money. So you can basically live where you want to live, drive what you want to drive. It might take you some years. You know, I just moved. I, you know, I, I really, whew, this is a step up from where I was. You know, got some more square footage for the boys. Got some more yard out there now. You know, and it's not about just spending money. It's not just getting a better credit score so you can go further into debt. It's about getting a better credit score so you can live the life that you want to live, okay? It's getting closer to living your dreams, all right? And all you need, most people only need about uh, 50 to 80 points on their credit score to get qualified for a house right now. And they're living in an apartment, not building up any equity. They got nosy neighbors. The walls are paper thin. Smoke comes in through the vents. I've lived there. I've been there. Okay. I haven't lived in an apartment. I've been living in a house for the last three, just about two and a half, three years now. And I've always been living in apartments or dorms or something like that, you know, and I'm not knocking apartments because some places you don't really want to buy a house just yet because the market's not right. So I'm not knocking apartments. If you're smart and you know where you are, you know, sometimes renting is, is a better thing. But think about it. If you live somewhere and you're paying a thousand dollars a month over the course of two years, well, that's twenty four thousand dollars that you just that went into the drain. And when you move from there, you might get your security deposit back. But that's it. OK, versus living in a house doing the same exact thing. Now you have twenty four thousand dollars in equity. OK, so if you sell that property, at least that percentage is yours of what you sell. You're going to get that's That's your money. All right. It's like you're building an asset. Assets don't lose value. All right. So that's just one example. Another example would be cars. You know, a lot of people are driving around with the Benz payment on a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> you 
You know, I'll say it again. A lot of people are driving around with a Mercedes Benz car note, but they're not driving a Mercedes Benz because their credit is so jacked up. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. And just think about it. You could be driving what you want. Now, you might not want a Mercedes. You know, you might not want a Jaguar or a BMW. You know what I'm saying? But you need to be able to at least pay less money, take the money that you're saving from having a better credit score and invest it, put it aside. Grant Cardone says you need to be putting aside at least 40% of your income. Most of us at the are living paycheck to paycheck, and we're broke in between like three or four days before we get paid, okay? So how can you put away 40% of your income when you're broke when payday hits, okay? So obviously there's a problem. Obviously we need help. Obviously if you could add to your income and add assets to your asset side and take away some of the liabilities, then that's exactly what you would need to get ahead in this financial game. It's a game. It's a financial game out here. They're playing warfare with you, man. The bankers, the government, the lobbyists, the businesses, they're all playing this financial game with you and you're losing A, because you don't know any better, B, because you don't have a business that's going to help you get from paychecks to assets, and C, just because you're lazy. Point blank period. It's a simple, you know, I'm not talking to not people, but I mean, you're lazy. You know, think about this. In 20 years, your kid's going to come to you and be like, man, why didn't you invest in Twitter? Twitter right now is like a a stock that's $500, Twitter at this second is only like $18, $13 or something like that. You know, come to you be like, man, wasn't Twitter out when you were here? When you were, when you were little, when you, you know, when, when we were growing up, why aren't you investing that? And you'd be like, well, what, what, are you, what are you gonna say? You can't say anything. Why didn't you go for, why did, oh, I didn't know, or I, I was just too skeptical, or I didn't wanna go out and, and, and pursue my dreams and my goals and do my thing. What, what excuse would your child give you then? OK, like, think about it. You're like, come on now. I need help. You know, I need hospice. I need I need some extra bills paid because, you know, my retirement check ain't really cutting it like it needs. Like I thought it would because I haven't been saved my whole life. And now you lean on your children for help. Your child is going to be like, well, remember when you didn't invest in my future? Remember when you put any money inside? Remember you were, when you were just out working, you were just spending the money on the girls and the partying and, you know, doing everything and not and just like clothes and things like that. Well, now I have to take care of my family. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be very fair because you decided to be lazy. You decided not to put in work, put in effort in order to get further ahead in life. You know, but I just want to get just put that in your head and think about it. But new goal for this month, man, I want to help three people get started in the business. It's $50 and then $50 a month to get started. And that, yes, that has led me to five figures. This little $50 a month business has led me to five figures over $10,000. Okay. And, and that's not, that's not even a lot of money, but it's more than what I would have had had I not started. You know, I wouldn't have gone on, I went all, over a dozen trips since joining this company and I never even flew before I joined this company. I majored in finance and I still have learned even more about business, more about strategies, more about economics, doing actual business, being in a business and seeing how it works than I ever did in college. I still gotta pay off college debt though. <laughs> That's another story. But I'm gonna help three people get started this month and show them how to actually get three people. And that's gonna help them become free business owners. So once you have three people in your business, you get a monthly check of $50. So if you have to pay $50 to join and then you help three people see the vision, which is, hey, I don't want to be broke for the rest of my life, then they go ahead and they join. Now you have three people on your team. You get a check for 50 bucks. That means you break even. All right. You're paying 50. You've got three people on your team. They're paying 50 each. You break even. So now your business for free. Try starting the Domino's and selling three pizzas. That's not going to happen. You're not going to break even. Okay, it's gonna cost you a, a ten. It's gonna cost you a hundred thousand dollars to open up a subway. Actually, about seventy thousand dollars to open up a subway. Okay, and you sell three subs, you're not gonna break even. Okay, and then the next step is to help those three people get their three people. Okay, you want them to be free. Okay, you want them paying this business out of profit so that they're locked in your organization and so your spot is even further locked in. So help three get three. Now you're earning two hundred and fifty dollars a month in residual income. $250 a month is going to save some people from bankruptcy. It's going to save some people from foreclosure. It's going to save some people from repossessions, okay? And sometimes you can't even tie the amount that you want. If you go to church and you're trying to tie your 10%, you can't do it because you ain't got enough money. 
coming in. Okay, so this is for everybody that needs an extra push of income. Okay, when I got started, it took me, I want to say about five months to get three people and help them get three people. Okay, then I started making 250 every month. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. That's $1,000 in four months. Most people can't even save $1,000 in a year. Okay, so that, I like to say that's life changing income. What would an extra 250 do for you? Okay, Just think about that. Now, your next goal, once you hit that, you might want to take the next year helping five people hit the 250 rank. Okay, now once you help five people hit the 250 rank, now you're earning 650 a month. Okay. So when I started earning $650 a month, hey, baby, Ali Gomez is joined. Oh, what's up, Gibson? Tony Gibson and Gibson Tony. I don't know when people reverse their names. I'm not sure. But, um, but listen, $650, that was actually just shy of what my mortgage payment used to be, $650 a month. So now the business helped me get the house because I qualified for the house because I, I couldn't qualify before, for it before because my credit score was so jacked up. It helped me qualify for the house, and then a few months later, it helped me pay for it. So now, imagine having no rent because your business is pouring in $650 a month. Think about that. It's $1,300 in two months. What are you going to do with that money? How can that change your life? All because you decided, look, I'm tired of being broke, and I want to help other people not be broke, and I want to help other people live the American dream. We're not selling you fruits and potions and pills and you know, weight loss stuff and foreign exchange strategies and things like that. Because let's face it, foreign exchange, you can lose money. I'm sorry to say I've done it for three years. And I've definitely made a lot of money, but I also lost a lot more money, okay? Because it's a, it's a gamble. You can, it's it's, it's two-sided, all right? That's why I don't do Forex anymore because you can't I can't duplicate your success with that. Even though I do believe that you have to actually be able to trade money and I do believe in stock exchanges. I do believe in foreign exchange and things like that. But that's when you have $10,000 coming in, in your, every month in your business and you can afford to go ahead and throw 5,000 over there in the market and see what's going on with it. The problem is people are taking their job income that they work time, okay, this is time-based income. So you pour it out 40 hours into a check and you take that check and you go dump it in the foreign exchange market, you know, and then you lose it all. What happens when you lose it all? That's 40 hours of your life that you just wasted. The smarter thing to do would be to take that 40 hours that you work, go invest it in a business, go sell you some products, make some profit, okay? Make some profit. That way, I mean, think about it in the business. I mean, the only way you will fail out of business is if you quit. The only way you will fail at this business is if you quit. Okay, $50 a month keeps your lights on in this business. If you don't have that and you quit and stop talking to people or whatever, that's the only way to fail. Okay, you're not gonna lose money because you can take that $50 a month and turn it into a tax deduction anyway. You can't lose, the government is gonna pay for your business. And I'll show you how to do a tax deduction and get it written off. Listen, this wasn't supposed to be this long, man. I just wanna give y'all some new goals. I wanna help three people get their three people this month so they have a free business. But man, I got so much to say. I'm, I promise y'all I'm gonna start doing some more webinars, some more videos, invite people to this group. We're gonna be giving in some, some great info, okay? So invite people to the group, join, get your link. So when people join and they say, hey, how do I become a part of this? All you gotta do is just send them a link and say, sign up, it's $50 a month, and it's a business write-off, and you get other things like no big perks, meaning that you get, a, it's like a discount center. You know, I remember getting, uh, Valentine's Day flowers from there, uh, tires. I bought my computer on there. I'm saving buku amounts of money and I'm getting cash back points just because I'm a no Bay member. You're also gonna make $100 for no Bay money credit sale. That means anybody that just needs credit but don't wanna really work the business, just sign them up as a customer so you get their credit worked on and you make $100, okay? You also get you know the tax deductions like I was talking about, and you also get training from multimillionaire CEOs and about personal growth and self development because we believe that free financial freedom is a mindset. You know, it's a mindset. It's not money. Financial freedom is not money. Financial freedom is a mindset. Okay, because so many people they'll win the lottery and they'll end up broke the next year. Seventy percent of seventy percent of them end up broke the next year because they don't have the right mindset. That proves to you. That financial freedom is not about money, okay? It's about your mind. Now, 
if you're constantly hanging around people that have a lot of money and that have had money for like our CEO, he's been a multimillionaire for over 14 years. Don't you think you can learn something from, from him? Like we have a, a, a private, um, a, what do they call them things on the phones? Conference calls. We have a conference call at night with the CEO. He's going to be pouring over uh, 10 tips to, um, 10, 10, 10 tips for something. I can't remember exactly what the topic is, but every Sunday he does it. Okay, and there's other meetings that we have as well. Just think about that alone, having the value to learn from somebody and brush shoulders or people like that. And not to mention the trips that we go on. We just got back from the Bahamas about a month ago. Man, I had to, that was the first time outside the country, okay? The second time on a plane and first time outside the country this year, okay? And it's all because I'm in this business. Had I not been in this business, I'd probably still be sitting here chilling, cru you know, cruise, you know, cruise. I'm going on a cruise. If you haven't seen the video yet, you just hate me. I might drop the video again in the comments just so y'all can see it. Because, man, we did our thing on that cruise, y'all. We had a good time. About 100 affiliates came out with us. And it's all positivity, man. We just want to help America grow. I, I believe no way will change the status quo of our generation. Okay? It's up to us. Because, listen, we have had, we've helped delete over 1 million negative items from people's credit. 1 million negative items from people's credit. Okay? So we're the people that are help pushing the financial change in America. No other company is doing this. Now you can either be a part of it or you can sit on the sidelines. You can be a customer of it, however you want. But we will be a billion-dollar company. My only question is, what part of that billion do you want? And you can have it just by helping us get started, helping us build. The company will basically pay you for helping us build this company. But anyway, new month, new goals. Get in contact with me, Jerry Goins. Um, I don't got nothing else to say, man. I'm excited, man. I'm ready to get to it, man. After watching this, man, I might just watch this again and get re-excited. <laughs> but uh, hit me up if you got any questions for real. Um, this is new. This is You Got Money Team. We believe financial freedom is a mindset. Peace out. I'll help if I hit in. Let me try it again. There we go.